Hey everybody, this is our first whole school read aloud of the year. I've got my first day of school bow tie on. I'm wearing this one for Mrs. Price. She is a first grade teacher at Edison and I recorded this on Monday, so yesterday, and she was in school making her classroom look so great for her first graders. So I want to make sure I wore her favorite bow tie for her. So the first book of the year is one of my favorites. It is The Day You Begin by Jacqueline, Jacqueline Woodson and illustrated by Rafael Lopez. Great book. Now what you're going to see with every book that I read, there will be an activity for every kid in Seesaw. Now the first couple ones are going to be activities that help you figure out some of the tools like record your name, draw a picture with some of the tools, type something with the text box, um, upload a photo. Really kind of not high pressure, uh, quick assignments to get you used to the tools so that when our reading challenge begins, oh that's right, when our reading challenge begins, everyone is going to do super great. So our reading challenge think next week, I'll announce when it starts. We have a read aloud every day, and I'm going to push an assignment through Seesaw, a little one that goes along with the read aloud book. And for kids who do them all, there's a prize. For kids who do most of them, there's a prize. For, a kids, who, for kids who do some of them, there's a prize. Is that exciting? Of course it is. For kids who do some of them, there's a prize. So our goal, one of our goals this whole year is gonna really en to, be, to engage with these books, to explore characters' feelings and thoughts and what the author intended and how they make us feel. So there are gonna be prizes at the end of the year for everyone who participates. So I'm really excited, but I wanted to use these first ones to get everyone used to Seesaw, okay? So The Day You Begin by Jacqueline Woodson, illustrated by Rafael Lopez. There will be times when you walk into a room and no one there is quite like you. Hmm. Maybe it will be your skin, your clothes, or the curl of your hair. There will be times when no one understands the way the words curl from your mouth, the beautiful language of the country you left behind. My name is Rigoberto. We just moved here from Venezuela. And because they don't understand, the classroom will fill with laughter until the teacher quiets everyone. I love this illustration here on this page. Rigoberto from Venezuela, your teacher says so soft and beautifully that your name and homeland sound like flowers blooming, the first bright notes of a song. Hmm, your name's like flowers blooming, like the first bright notes of a song. We're going to read another book later this week about names being songs. I can't wait. There will be time when the words don't come, your own voice once huge, now smaller. When the teacher asks, what did you do last summer? Tell the class your story. We went to France, Chyla says. These shells came from a beach in Maine. A boy named Jonathan holds out a jar, filled with tiny shells so fragile, they look like they'll turn to dust in your own untraveled hands. My whole family went to India, Spain, South Carolina, each souvenir a small triumph of a journey, their travels going on and on. And maybe this summer we had fewer travels than in the past, but I am sure there are some things in our lives that we can share with our new classmates. And as you stand in front of that room, 
You can only remember how the heat waved as it lifted off the curb, and your days spent at home caring for your little sister, who made you laugh out loud and hugged you hard at nap time. You can only remember the books you kept on reading long after she had fallen asleep. And in that room, where no one else is quite like you, you'll look down at your own empty hands and wonder, what good is this when other students were flying and sailing and going somewhere? Well, I think there's a lot of good about it. There will be times when the lunch your mother packed for you is too strange or too unfamiliar for others to love as you do. Even when your own friend Nadja will wrinkle her nose and say, what's in there anyway? And you'll wonder how she doesn't see the rice beneath the meat and kimchi. You'll wonder why she doesn't remember that rice is the most popular food in the whole world. Mr. Fitzpatrick just ate some rice. I like rice. There will be times when the climbing bars are too high, the run is too fast and far. The game isn't one you can ever really play. I don't want him on our team. You can watch. Maybe you can have a turn later. Hmm. There will be times when the world feels like a place that you're standing all the way outside of. Huh, see how that one kid over here is standing pretty much away from the other kids who are playing. Hmm. I wonder how that kid feels. And all that stands beside you is your own brave self, steady as steel, and ready, even though you don't yet know what you're ready for. There will be times when you walk into a room and no one there is quite like you until the day you begin to share your stories. My name is Angelina and I spent my whole summer with my little sister you tell the class, your voice stronger than it was a minute ago. Reading books and telling stories, and even though we were, we were right on our block, it was like we got to go everywhere. Oh, look at this. Look at this beautiful building. They used a book to get there. Your name is like my sister's, Rigoberto says. Her name is Angelina, too. And all at once, in the room where no one else is quite like you, the world opens itself up a little wider to make some space for you. This is the day you begin to find places inside your laughter and your lunches, your books, your travel, and your stories, where every new friend has something a little like you and something else so fabulously not quite like you at all. It's a great book. So for some of you, I know we have students who are coming from other schools, and today might be the first day that you're introducing yourself to a new group of people. And that can be pretty scary sometimes. But school can be a wonderful place, a welcoming place. And as soon as we start sharing our stories and how we have some similarities 
but maybe big differences. That is when we really begin. Begin to learn, begin to make friends, begin to build. So welcome to your first day of school. I can't wait to see you, whether it is on a screen, behind a mask, behind a desk shield. I'm happy you're here.